man without education means a building without foundation. Education is the only valuable asset humans can achieve. Human evolution over eons is a result of education, both formal and informal. Further, education is the sole basis on which future of the human race depends. Briefly, education means acquiring knowledge. In broader terms, education means acquiring various skills in diverse fields that are vital to our life and our existence. National Education Policy 2020 lays particular emphasis on the development of the creative potential of each individual. It is based on the principle that education must develop not only cognitive capacities, both the foundational capacities of literacy and numeracy and higher order cognitive capacities such as critical thinking and problem solving, but also social, ethical and emotional capacities and dispositions. Students using digital learning tools and technology become more engaged in the process and more interested in growing their knowledge base. They may not even realize that they are actively learning since they are learning through engaging methods such as peer education, teamwork, problem solving, reverse teaching, concept maps, gamification, stagging, role playing and storytelling. The online schooling system is having a many advantages compared to the traditional type of schooling. In the case of traditional type of education, the children are sitting in a four walls of the classroom and mainly depending on a particular teacher. But here, the learner can choose the subjects and the human resources and the materials as per their wish. Uh, the, so, the community learning, the social interaction may be less. Uh, therefore, uh, we cannot avoid the traditional type of schools in the sake of online learning system. But in the coming days, the online learning system will certainly enhance and contribute to the uh, education of the people. When used effectively, technology can greatly contribute to creating equity in schools. COVID-19 has resulted in school shed all across the world. Globally, over 1.2 billion children are out of the classroom. As a result, education has changed dramatically. As a student of 12th class, I personally feel that online education is very exciting and it enables us to learn with a lot of resources. Compared to traditional schooling, online education provides us with new scopes. Also, it gives us more freedom, so that now, with the regular online classes, I am able to attend other classes and webinars taken by eminent faculties over the globe. With the coming of online education, now my teachers are able to use more digital resources than before during the class sessions, so that now our transactions have become more easier, comfortable and understandable. With the outbreak of COVID-19, online education has received more accessibility. And I think that even after the end of the pandemic, the online education will remain as a new strategy and as a new method of learning for the children during the 21st century. For those who do have access to the right technology, there is evidence that learning online can be more effective in a number of ways. Some research shows that on average, students retain 25 to 60 percentage more material when learning online compared to 8 to 10 percentage in a classroom. This is mostly due to the students being able to learn faster online. E-learning requires 40 to 60 percentage less time to learn than in a traditional classroom setting because students can learn at their own pace, going back and rereading, skipping or accelerating through concepts as they choose. It is possible to reach out to the nook and corner of the country with the technology. 
Our government has taken a lot of initiatives to implement ICT-enabled teaching learning. For example, National Digital Library is there and National Repository of Open Educational Resources, NROER is there and we can see so many webinars conducted by NCRTs are available. Also, abundant e-contents are readily available from Diksha portal. So, with the technology, education can fly. That is why it is rightly said in the new education policy that technology gives wings to education. So, we can reach out every child in the Nukan corner of the country by means of technology. Especially younger ones is that a structured environment is required because kids are more easily distracted. To get the full benefit of online learning, there needs to be a concerted effort to provide this structure and go beyond replicating a physical class or lecture through video capabilities 